So good day, it's uh, Gary from GNH Honeybees, and today I thought you might enjoy seeing what I've been doing with uh, some 3D printing that I have been doing. Um, all of this stuff that I'm going to show you I have designed on my computer and printed on my 3D printer. So first up is a replica of my beehive that I have in my backyard. So, as you can see on the top, I have the, the uh, gabled roof. And I've got a little bit of screen in there for the vent. Oop, excuse me, for the vent. And then I have the top board. And on the top board is a sugar feeder. So we off of there you can see the sugar feeder has a hole through it so the bees could come up to feed if they were real bees so inside the boxes I have made individual frames Let me get one out here and these frames are made up of five parts there's the top bar the bottom bar the two end pieces and a plastic uh, flat plastic uh, foundation and if you look at the way I've made this top box you can see I have I don't know if they show up very well but I have dividers in there so this is actually a nine frame honey box on the top and then below that if I can get the tape to let go because the plastic is so slippery, you can't keep these together, so I've got a little bit of double-sided tape holding them together. And then I have two 10-frame boxes, which, of course, are all individual frames. And then I have an actual printout of the bottom board with a screen in it. So there's the bottom board. Just got some fine hardware cloth to use for screening and I have replicated that as best I could there's the opening the entrance the landing board replicated that as best I could in my software um, the frames I'll show you the frames here So there's the piece of plastic. It's just a flat piece of printed plastic. Very thin. It's only one millimeter thick. It's going, it acts as a foundation. And then we have the top bar, which I've put the little bevels on the ends and the grooves for the end, uh, end bars to snap into. And of course, a groove for the foundation to fit into. And then the bottom bar is modeled after a real one, and it too has a groove in it. And then the end pieces, I modeled them as closely as I could to a real end piece. And as you can see, they're not very big. Probably the size, if I put a quarter up next to those, it would give you an indication how big they are. But a quarter is about the same diameter as those end pieces. So that's one of the things that I've been doing with my 3D printing. <clears throat> Another thing I've been doing, and you may see them on my hives, are sliding entrances. stand with me so that I could use both hands here but the sliding entrances are pretty simple there's a groove for the, the slide to run in and you may be wondering why there's a big oval here well that's just because I didn't want to use as much plastic 
Originally the design that was filled in and, and it took longer to print. So I just put an oval in there to use less plastic and make the time to, to print a lot shorter. And of course on each end I have a, um, a beveled hole for the screws to go into and I'm using a number four by half inch wood screw with a tapered head and they fit in there perfectly and the uh, sliding gate doesn't get caught on them so I'm going to that aside and so I printed these in various colors as I want to color code all my hives and you see they just slide open and close so you can have them as far open as four inches to allow the bees to go in and out. So that's that. And another thing, I just designed these <clears throat> and printed them. And I just call them nuke entrances. They're spinning nuke entrance. I plan on building some nukes this uh, spring when the weather gets better. And I'm gonna use these for the entrances. It's just going to be held in place by a single number four. Here, I got those right here. Number four of a half inch metal screw. And they're pan heads. So, and I have also printed them in various colors to keep the color coding scheme that I've got going on going. So, last but not least, of course, I've learned how to use, build um, 3D text into my 3D designs. And so I printed out these little hive markers. And I printed them in a, in a white plastic. And then I spray painted them and then put lacquer uh, clear coat over them. And then used a bit of really, really fine sandpaper to clean the paint off of the actual lettering and the outside rim. And as you can see, the lettering and the outside rim are at the same height. So it was a simple matter of turning it over and just rubbing it on the, on the sandpaper. And they came out pretty nice. And again, they are color-coded to how I plan on having my hives. As you can see, I've got markers built for hive three and four, which I don't have yet. And I'm hoping this summer I can learn how to do some splits because I've just started beekeeping and I've never done that before. Um, so wish me well. But right now the, the cold front from the Arctic is uh, simply not letting go and the temperature has been around zero to three degrees celsius for the last three four weeks and it doesn't appear to be getting any warmer anytime soon and i wish it would because i think my second hive is the hive population is dwindling and i really need to get some warm weather so that the queen can get laying and they can start building up their population again. So anyway, um, that's all I have for show and tell. Um, I'm going to add a little video clip to the end of this to show you what I've done with my beehives other than giving them to friends. Um, and I hope you enjoy that. So thank you for watching and we'll catch you again. So this is one of the um, dioramas I've done after printing out a number of my miniature beehives. And as you can see, I've got a couple of Winnie the Poohs on there, I've got a bunch of flowers, and I have four hives set on a wooden hive stand with a back fence. And I've got a couple of little signs that I've printed out. And you can see that 
uh, Winnie the Pooh has pulled out a few of the honey frames and sharing them with his friends. So that's just one of the things I've done with my 3D printing. So this is another project I've been working on. It's going to be a freestanding sugar water feeder for the bees. Um, I had some spare pieces of uh, cedar fence boards left over from a project last summer. So what I did was I slapped together this little stand with a shelf. And in the shelf, I'm going to have these four of these um, little feeder stations and this is something I designed in my 3d design application and it's just got a channel on the outside and holes in the bottom rim for to allow uh, sugar water to flow from the jar to the to the channel and the bees should be able to drink out of that channel without drowning um, So what I have <clears throat> is a 500 gram jar, just a plastic jar with a lid, and it just jams into the, or seats into the, into the feeder, and I've got a hole through the, the lid of the jar, a uh, pretty, a really large hole too, it didn't seem to matter what size the hole was, uh, even from a small hole to the big hole, they all work the same way, and I fill that up with sugar water, Put the, uh, the feeding station on it and then put it back in and it should work quite nicely for feeding the bee sugar water and the reason I'm using this as a as basically a test to see if it will work um, I don't have a large number of bees right at the moment so this should do just fine and it will save me opening the hives if it's unnecessary um, a little dish in the middle, of course, that's something else I just put together in a 3D design application. And it's going to be for Phoebe, which is basically Ultra B, but I can't get Ultra B up here that I know of. And so I'm going to give this a try, get it out in the yard once the weather gets better and the bees get active. And uh, we'll see how it goes and I'll give you an update then. Um, so here's a, uh, a short clip of my 3D printer working on a set of frame holders that you clip onto the side of the box. I will show you these when they're completed. So this is one more item that um, actually just came off the 3D printer. Um, these are frame rests and they just hook over the edge of the box like that and then you can put a couple of frames on that when you take them out of the beehive and i've designed them so that they have corresponding notches one is left one is right and they will fit over the notches right on the uh on the ends of the boxes where the frames rest inside the box and that way they are the right distance apart so that you can just snap them in and put your uh, frames on that you take out of the hide box.